Uh, uh, <laughs> Air <brakes> not locked. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, what is going on, everybody? Pootsu Gaming here, and today we're finally back in X-Plane 10 doing another gliding video. Now, today's gliding video is going to be a little interesting. We're going to go over some cool features, uh, go over the airplane, we're going to go fly some really cool areas, uh, Innsbruck, actually, with those fancy cool mountains. Now, today's glider is a unique one, it is the Antares 20E. Now, this glider is not like a normal glider. If you look on the top, it actually has a hatch port. This hatch port, <laughs> it stows an electric motor. I will show it eventually when we get the thing going. And when we take off, actually, we're not going to do a tow cable. We're going to do a unique takeoff. I don't think you, I don't think you're supposed to do that, but we're going to do that. And this thing... It has a friggin' it's let just it's an electric motor. So basically, if you can't find any thermals and if you have trouble trying to find things, you can punch this thing out and use it. Especially if you do, if you are in an emergency or anything like that. Now that's enough of the outside, and there's nothing really much to talk about. Uh, the <laughs> the aircraft code is Foxtrot Charlie Foxtrot Victor Victor. Really simple. Let's go to the cockpit. That's enough of the outside. Outside is beautiful, I must say. Uh, the inside is wonderful textures, 4K textures, really nice. I mean, it's not that much to model anyways. So this company, Aerobasque, really put in the effort to make this thing beautiful looking. Uh, let's just go over the main features. Let's turn, actually, let's turn this thing on. It's really simple. It's like turning a little key. Uh, you can turn the GPS as well since we're here. Now, on the left side, this green knob, that is your trim. You can see I am moving it right now. This is your elevator trim. I'm gonna use that a lot. Um, let's go do the flaps here. We got, there we go. So these are your flaps. You would definitely use these for landing. Uh, this was something I noticed is you have negative and positive. I'm gonna guess the negative helps you to stay or to descend. And when you have in the middle here, you can do it. I don't know. When, you, when you're in the middle, it's perfect. When you're negative, it's a little bit higher. Now, to the left of that, or just above it, we have your air brakes. Let me go back outside for you guys, and we have red air brakes. This helps us, uh, this basically helps us to descend quicker, maintain the same speed, but just descend quicker. And we're also going to use that for landing eventually. Okay, on the left side of here, we have the landing gear. I am flicking that on and off, though I'm on the ground. <laughs> on the right here is the water ballast. Basically, what this is... It hold, this plane holds water, and this, this you know, weighs the airplane down a little bit more. And we can, this, what this does is we can punch through the air quicker, or better. It keeps your momentum higher. Uh, good for kind of longer flights when you need the speed. And there's quite a bit more wind. But when you land, you need to dump all that water to, you know, not to be too heavy. Now in the middle, standard GPS. Yeah! Is your vertical and the set rate? Uh, this airplane is actually in metric, so it is in kilometers, it is in meters per second, and it does, and it also it is in meters for height. It does have knots for triage speed, but the main um, main thing is in kilometers, which, hey, most of them are, or at least the ones in Europe. Uh, over here is your fancy tool that you will need. <laughs> this tool is it basically measures your well, it tells you your height to be for to, for one. It tells you the time is 1221. And it tells you your average vario. Basically, um, how quickly you are climbing, uh, you know, meters per second wise. And basically, of course, when you hit a thermal, this needle is going to go up. And that's what you want. And when you don't want is when, <laughs> when it points down. So if it points down, that means you are in a downdraft. If it points up, it means you are in updraft, thermal, whatever that be, winds up doesn't really matter. Uh, if I click here, we have the artificial horizon. If I click on the bottom one, we have a timer with Zulu time. Let's get out of there. Let's go back to the main central thing. And right here, the main computer type of thing, we have all of our stats. We have the motor at six degrees Celsius. Outside temperature is pretty chilly at three degrees. Batteries at nine degrees Celsius. And then we have a bunch of stuff. Now you do, you can't charge this thing. So right now my batteries or my energy of the total airplane the glider is at 79%. Now, if you click this button, it will actually start charging. Now, what you don't want, you want, what you want to be careful about is if that battery goes to zero, your plane 
in your glider actually has no power at all so you want to be careful you want to not get too low and if you see yourself going too low try to find a place to land or don't use the uh, <laughs> or just don't use the motor at all now the power here just tells you the power of how much you know how much power the motor is using in amps and rpm 100 percent max zero none simple as that in the middle here we have our uh, radio uh, it's basic simple radio tuning into like, it's like the basic you need just tune to any frequency uh, down here is our wonderful transponder i set it to the american transponder code of 1200 that's what it is for vfr i don't know what it is for europe now it is charging right now if i if i go outside you can see the battery plugged into the airplane charging away the pilot is not in there anymore because he wouldn't be sitting in here if he was if he was charging the aircraft now it does take a little while to get up to 100 percent it's not like the fastest charge in the whole world so since we're not going for long haul flight i'm just going to unplug the battery charger we don't need it anymore uh, what this orange channel is, if you do run up out of power, this is the manual drop of the gear. Um, this foot little thing is pocket brake. This yellow knob is to release the toe, and the gray knob to the right of that is to incline and well retract and just basically change your inclination of the chair. Now this thing here, this is an oxygen tank. As you can tell, this has it's basically full of P it's full oxygen tank. If I click it. You can see, see, you can hear your uh, pilot start breathing now. Now this would be needed for roughly 10,000 feet plus, because when you get past the altitude, I'll turn it off. It gets annoying. <laughs> when you get past the altitude, you start losing oxygen. The air gets thinner, and you start getting something called hypoxia, meaning less oxygen in your blood, and basically you can get, some strange things can happen, like uh, hallucinations and passing out is the main one. So that's enough blabbering. That's bullshit. Let's, let's get out into the air. But before we do, I want to say something. You can taxi on the ground. So please don't yell at me. <laughs> it has wheels on the wing right in the middle and it has a tail wheel. So you can taxi. It's fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. So let's close the canopy here. Ah, there it is. That's pretty awesome. A uh, little warning here. I do not fly gliders. I rarely have flown gliders. I've only flown twice. So, please don't uh, yell at me if I don't know anything. I had been taking some pointers, pointers from you guys in the comments, and I really thank you guys for that. So, let's bring up the motor. Here it is. It's a little cable. It's pretty big, actually. It's pretty powerful, to be honest. I've flown this thing once, and it's woo, powerful. And it's up. The sounds of this thing is amazing. That means the motor is now initialized and if I start increasing the power there we go so I'm just I'm not going in there right now it's at 34 amps and uh, let's see what let's just take off oh shit parking brake so we'll see how this goes uh, we're just gonna do a quick flight fly around a little, little bit see if we can hit some thermals probably not <laughs> no I'm a pretty shitty glider pilot uh, this thing is a little difficult to keep track on the runway. Let's just get up in the air, yeah? There we go. Anyways, let's do a couple things. Let's stall the aircraft. So let's pull up. Stall, 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 stall. That's like a half loop there. Stall. Woo! Oh, oh yeah! Stall. <laughs> oh shit, this thing does not like stalling. Airbrook's not locked. There we go. All right. That was a stall there. That was a weird stall. Let's do it again. That's pretty fun. So I slowly pitch up, pitch up. It takes a while since it's a freaking glider, so it technically runs on no power. So we gotta keep pulling until it stalls. Stall, 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 stall. Let's see how well this stall, thing does. Stall, 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 stall. Still stall, yelling stall at me. Stall. Stall, stall, stall. Oh god. Stall. All right. So you know what? This thing's like it's like falling flat. It it, it barely stalls. It's really hard to stall this thing out. 
Alright, and it looks like we had another thermal here, which is beautiful. I wonder what happens if I start turning. I don't know if it's a thermal I can keep turning and st keep gaining altitude in, but we'll see. So far, so good. The thermal's giving us how much area? About 4 point some 4.2 meters per second. That's how fast we're going up. And it is now negative. That was a big mistake. And we're back to positive. Yes! This is lovely. I am actually doing something right for the first time. I'm actually climbing a shit ton. Eight meters per second. It's really awesome. Alrighty guys, let's, let's do something really fun. We're gonna do a loop, okay? We're gonna do a loop and then we're gonna enter a dive in which we're gonna break our wings. Trust me, I think this is, I think this is possible. So we're gonna go down, gain lots of speed here. And then pull up, pull up. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, that's not good. And stop, stop, pull. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Holy shit. Okay, there, we're good. We're good. See? Perfect. I knew it. I knew we'd be, we'd be good. So uh, it looks like we did a type of loop where we went to the top, we stopped, and we fell back down again. Pretty good. Can we do a roll in this thing? Oh no! <laughs> Holy sh! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Airbrick's not locked. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I even stop this? What's <laughs> Um. Oh. I put the gear down to put more drag, but. Oh. Put the gear up. <laughs> Looks like we become a helicopter. Nice. I think I broke it. Like, what the hell am I doing? Am I descending still? Oh, like, friggin' barely. Uh, aircraft. Can you please? I think I'm stuck like this. <laughs> this is awesome. Alrighty, guys. We're back here on the glider, and we're gonna do a landing in this thing. We'll see how well I can do, um... It's going to be really bad, trust me, so don't get mad if it's a bad landing. Uh, we're going to land on this grass trip. To our left, it looks like a privately owned one, but hey, we'll hop in, grab some burgers, and get out of there as quick as possible. Now, I did get some tips from Fabian on how to land a glider. Basically, be 100 meters above the ground level of the runway. Get about 100, 200 meters past the edge of the runway. Turn in and put full speed brakes. So, let's see how this goes. I am not so sure, so let's put full... <laughs> I mean, his techniques are right. He's a glider. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they're right. He's a glider. But for me to execute them, eh, we'll see. I don't really know how this is going to go. But he said to maintain 100 kilometers per hour, which I will try my best at keeping. We got to maintain, uh, got to vary that pitch so it does keep 100 kilometers. For me, this is odd because being this low feels weird to me. Because being this low on a normal approach for any uh, engine-powered aircraft is way too low. Ignore that tree. It's just bullshit. Okay. Let's be a bad land. Uh, huh. Come on. Ah, that's rough. All right, let's try to keep it straight, though. Let's try to keep it straight. Okay. I mean, at least I kept it straight. But it was looks like a little bit harder landing. Uh, I don't know how well these gliders can handle impact. I'm like I'm gonna say not as much as a Cessna, just based on that there's no suspension. But I don't know. Fabian, can you please tell me how much these gliders or anyone who is a glider putt, please tell me how much uh, these gliders can uh, resist or can withstand when landing. Let's just raise our, our crap up. Let's take off the canopy. We are back on the ground. And let's watch that replay. See how well that I did. Alrighty, guys. Here is the replay. There is the runway right in front of us. Speed brakes are fully extended. Let's see how well I do. There is a slight crossing from the left. So I did counteract that with the rudder. As you can tell, my plane really wanted to go left. But, you know, it's a crosswind. And touchdown. 
I, I don't know. I, I think I touched the tail first, which I don't think you're supposed to do. But hey, I, I tried my best. I did keep a center, and I did not put the wings on the ground until the end when I had no lift. He had no choice at that point. But hey, I kept it in the center. Landing was a little rough. I'd say that was pretty good for like one of my second times landing a glider. I don't know. You guys be the judge. All right, I'm behind you now. We're formating together. Let's go on the right side. See if we can get some updrafts there. So, up that little. Yep. Now we got Now we got updraft. Do you have it? You must have the needle way up there. Well, and I need to go to the right. Woo! No. Oh, eh. I'm following you. We're going to the right or staying to the left? I'll just I'm stay like a. In the, uh, in the right, to the right. The right, okay. Oh, I know where we are. This is the Telluride Ski Resort ish. Yeah, it ish. is. I mean, <laughs> I spent 10 Domano no Ski Resort here. But <laughs> nah. Nah. But see the road. Oh, this is all big updraft. Yeah, you got it, eh? Uh, mine is needle is almost at the fully, very, very top. Oh, God, now I'm losing it. <laughs> no. I got it too. No, oh, no, okay, I have, back. I still have the updraft. Oh boy, oh what? boy. Keenan, Ken that's a mountain near you. Yeah, I see that. My trim is like it hates me right now. Well, I mean, your trim didn't do anything. Hey, so there's a, the mountains directly in front of us. That's Telly Ride. So go to the right. Okay. And because there's no way we can scale this mountain right now. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna stall oh. nobody. Ah! I'm good. I made it. No, I didn't. I definitely did not make it. No, I didn't make it. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm good, fam. I'm good. Oh no, I'm not. Uh, Sorry, I still got power. Where are you? On the mountainside. Uh. Damn, that hurt. Well, that worked. Hey, I see you. Hey. Where are you? Oh, hey. Go up, yeah, go up the crack. That's what she said. <laughs> it's like he's a, he's at like a party and all of a sudden just Yeah. Do just little really, <laughs> little, little, little tiny movements really rapidly. Okay. No, hang on. He's convulsing. He's having a heart attack. Uh, we need a doctor. <laughs> We need a doctor in here. He's like one macarena. Da, 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 da. He... Hey, macarena. <laughs> what nationality is he? He looks like white mixed with Chinese. That's racist. Why is that racist? Yeah, I'm looking right into the eye. He is scary. Kate, I'm not joking. You're literally helicoptering right now. How do you see me? <laughs> I went to local map. And you're just spinning counterclockwise forever. Oh, you stopped. Because I went to local map. <laughs> yeah, spinning again. <laughs> oh, you stopped again.